What we have here is a Westinghouse LCD TV. Now the only problem with this thing is um, it turns on, let's see if we can, I may take it too long because it, normally it'll stay on for a couple minutes before it messes up. But let's get a little closer. Turn it on. Oh, it's messing up right now. Normally it'll turn on for a few minutes, but if you can see, the power light just kind of flashes. Um, so, we're going to tear into this because um, it's a nice little TV. It's HD. It's got an HD tuner. Um, we'll see what's wrong with it. So, first off, I think I want to take the What we're gonna do is right here we have like kind of like a speaker cover. Let's see. I'm just gonna pry that, push it down. There we go. Well, you might want to pry it up a little because it, where that power light is, it's got little things. Oh well. Just be careful right there. Kind of, I don't know, pry it up, up and out. It doesn't really bother me. Uh, it's got little plastic, uh, clear plastic things that go up through the holes in here to make the power light look all cool and stuff. And a couple of those popped. But so that's undone. And I don't see any screws there. I find the screws. So we've got some covers here. Push, push in on those and lift up. They pop out. Those pop out on that end. So we've got four little screws here to get the base off. We'll take those out. All right, and we've got two recessed down there. Take those out. We've got these four. Take those out. That should be all of our screws. Get those two to come out. Now, looking at it, look at this bottom here. Make sure there's nothing. It looks like we'll probably just pop it. It's got a couple slots there. Normally, it's kind of pop apart. Um, so I'm trying to see where the little seam is. kind of get a real thin blade in here on each side and just kind of pry it. It pops it. It'll work on both sides. And once it pops at one spot, you kind of work your way around it. Take your fingers and I'll show you what these little clips look like. Are like clips in here? See, it's got these um, little clips. Let's see which ones are holding it. It's got these. Um, right here. I don't know if you can see that, but it's got little clips and you just gotta get your fingers in there and just pry it out a little bit and it unpops. So now that that's done, we can take these two out and the two on the other side. That will get the screen out. Pull the screen right out of it. 
the screen. Should lift off. The whole uh, board's coming off. Yeah, what we probably need to do is just really see it. So the whole screen and everything's come off. The easiest thing to do here is uh, if we look right here, we can unplug this wire, just gently pull it out. So we can leave that. Lift the back and set this aside. So now we have pretty much all the insides of this monitor. And let me get something to lay on. There we go. Now, looks like this is just taped down. Got this foil tape. What I will do, because I can retape it down, is just take a knife. See what I'm doing here. I'm just getting up under the tape to pry it off so I don't have to. I was going to cut through it, but there is this uh, cable that runs all along here and then goes under, so I don't want to risk cutting that, so we'll just peel this tape up and off. And then we'll just restick it. Off there. We've got a plug on this side. Just unplug that. And we peel this tape over here. We've got four um, inverter plugs. On the inverter plugs, I always take a marker and a number. <laughs> This one. And put the two on that cable. And there's a pink and a gray um, wire. See, they're bundled. So we've got pink and a gray, or light blue or something. And so I've labeled that one. One over here, two on that. Just something for me to, so I know which one went where. And we've got tape right here. And we stick tape. Stuff there. And we got all the wires in terms of this side, we can just kind of peel this up and then we'll just keep it. There we go. Now, let's stick this up out of the way. And This would be the power supply side, which I think is where the problem is. We can probably leave this side intact. Um, we may have to unstick this and kind of sit it out of the way. I'm going to guess that we have a bad capacitor. And normally that's what the problem is on these things. So we'll find out in just a minute. Well, it's not one to come undone by itself, so the wires must be too short. So it looks like we'll have to take both of them out at the same time. So hoping the wires will be long enough connecting the two that we could just pull them out, pull the power supply side out. And then when you're undoing this one, to double check and make sure none of these 
and we do we'll to pull these two out to get pull that out the HDMI right there to undo all these Now, I should be able to kind of pull this one up, and at the same time, I'm going to try to wiggle this one up and out. And it may help to tilt it this way so it'll help, help it kind of just fall out. Make sure, oh, it looks like this is holding us up. Got this cable right here. All right. Now I see the a problem. Hopefully, it's the only problem. <clears throat> Here we have a twenty two hundred microfed ten volt. Capacitor. Yeah, let's get it like this. As you can see, top is bulged on it. So, this is a Capson, C A P X O N. I don't remember ever seeing that brand. We can unplug the two boards. Just unplug like that.